What? What is going? What? Oh, come on, come on. Let's go. All right, got a clear, not clear. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, I stopped him. I'm him. I'm, I'm not him. Hello friends and welcome back to another video. For those of you that follow me on other forms of social media, you are probably aware that I like hockey. About six years ago, a buddy invited me to a minor league hockey game and I was immediately hooked. The great seats, the incredible atmosphere, and of course the fighting made me a fan for life. I started going to more hockey games and even went ice skating a couple times. My buddy started going to the rink weekly for skate and shoot, but after watching a friend break her arm while falling during a free skate, I decided I would probably never skate again. That all changed in January when I was invited to a learn to play hockey class from a friend I met through local Pokemon tournaments. Keep in mind, I've only been ice skating a handful of times in my life. So I went in with very low expectations. Of course I had a great time and I loved it. And I would have kept going back if I didn't get sidelined by another wrist surgery. I was advised to stay off of the ice until I'm completely healed from that surgery. So until then, I only really have one way to play hockey and that way is video games. Of course, the yearly NHL video game isn't available unless you have a console. So I thought I was just kind of out of luck until I found Slapshot Rebound. So this game looks like it has a tutorial, but I put hockey pads on once. I'm just gonna wing it. It'll be fine. Okay, hang it back. I got it. I I don't got it. Sorry, bud. I'll play the puck out of the net. Maybe not. All right, let me clear it or miss it completely. Maybe if I just sit in the net? Oh no, I'll play it. That's big brain. Okay, let me clear it. Oh no, I'll send it back in my zone. Brilliant. So, some guy called me a pigeon and said I need to find a new game to play. So I think I'm gonna head back into that tutorial. I also did some research and I found that a lot of people said they were more comfortable using a controller versus the mouse and keyboard route. So I'm gonna try that out, see if that helps me. I took that guy's advice and went back to the tutorial and that definitely helped me figure out some of what I was doing wrong. After completing most of the challenges, I felt comfortable enough to get back out there against the world and man, did I have fun. So let's start with the good things about this game. While the gameplay is difficult, the payoff is huge when you play a puck right and help out your team. I still consider myself a noob at this game, but my skills have progressed a ton since the first few games I played. The graphics look great, even with the different arenas you play in and all the players having different cosmetics, all the visuals still look awesome. The simple and cartoony designs are really fun and they add a humor element to the game. And like I had just mentioned, the player customization in this game is awesome. The best comparison I can think of is Fortnite with the ability to unlock or purchase new jerseys and other items. And speaking of purchases, there is no pay to win in this game. All items are strictly cosmetic, which makes the game just as playable whether you spend money or you don't. I ended up purchasing the season pass to unlock some cool gear for my player, like turning my puck into an onion ring. Cause why not? So of course, after the good, we do have to talk about the bad. The skill gap in this game is probably the biggest I have ever seen in a video game that I've played. The controls are unlike anything I've done before, so it's totally understandable that a player that puts in a lot of hours would be better than I am after downloading the game the other day, but it's really hard to get better when you get matched up with insanely good players and literally don't touch the puck the entire game. 
The matchmaking feature in this game tries to group players by skill, I think, but either this game doesn't employ that feature or they just don't have enough concurrent players to put low skill players in games only with other low skill players. I also got the spend 10 minutes in the waiting queue achievement before my fifth game. So if you are not patient, this game is not the game for you to play. When I look for a new game to play, I almost always check the reviews first. One of the most common negative review points I found was about the servers. I've noticed lag issues in almost every match that I've played, and chats with other players confirmed that it was happening to everyone. It wasn't just me. The lag seemed most prevalent at peak hours, so I tried playing early in the morning to see if that would help. The matchmaking times increased dramatically, and I was matched with people way outside of my skill range. This game just came out a month ago, so I feel like I should cut them some slack, but if the player base continues to grow and they don't add more servers, I'm really worried that this game's gonna become unplayable. In conclusion, I did thoroughly enjoy this game. It has its flaws like all games do, but even if this game wasn't free, I would still say it's worth checking out. I mean, after I recorded the gameplay that I'm using in this video, I played at least another 20 matches just because I was having fun. Please let me know down below what you guys think of this game and if you'd like to see more of it. I have a few ideas for more Slapshot videos that I could make, but all that hard work is not as fun if you guys aren't enjoying the videos. I could do a heavily edited down video like this one is, or show full games, kind of like I do with the Dirt to Daytona series. And with that, I just want to say thank you for watching, like the video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment if you have anything to say, and subscribe if you're not. I hope I catch you in the next one. See ya.